much as always. And let me share my screen. And we're going to see if we can do this without too many stumbles. OK, play from the beginning. All right, Dan, can you see the Noni by New Age? Awesome, looks good so far. OK, my name is Rick Redford. I'm the Area Director of North America. Glad to be with you tonight and happy to be hosting, as always, along with my partner in crime, Dan Colley. Hey, Dan, wave to everybody. Awesome. Got a few things to announce tonight. First of all, this coming Saturday is a super Saturday that James and Becky Shang are producing from, from Utah, actually. So they're going to be here <clears throat> along with a handful of their leaders who have earned the trip to be here in Utah, and uh, they're going to be live streaming it. So there is a, uh, on, our, on our Facebook page, look it up, there is an Eventbrite <clears throat> that you can join the event if you can. And uh, Mark Wilson is speaking, uh, Ian Chandler is speaking. Uh, the leaders will have some recognition, a couple of prizes to give away. It should be a good fun. And that's from 10 until 2, Mountain Standard Time on Saturday. So join us if you can. It'd be great. Also, <clears throat> Dan, this is for your team. And we've got a lot of Noni people on the call tonight. Will you let us know what's going on here? Absolutely. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, we're going to be doing our own uh, transformation challenge. You know, we had so many people... Uh, scream at me that, hey, how come we didn't get to participate in all the fun with the Transformation Challenge uh, with the RX group? Uh, so we're going to do one for the Noni group as well. So they're going to start their Transformation Challenge beginning April 1st. Uh, so, so super excited about that. And uh, we're going to have more details on this on our Wednesday webinar for the, for the Noni side. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. That's uh, that's great. And looking forward to it. You know what? And if you want to participate and you're not on the Noni side and you, you want to participate on the RX side, come and join us. It'll be great fun. Also, now I need to move my little cursor thing because um, if you can help me again uh, on the waiting room, Dan, you're a co-host. If you could help me on the waiting room as well, that'd be great. All right. So we, our event in coming this um, September as, or October, sorry, as many of you know, is October 22nd and 23rd in Salt Lake City, Utah. We have early bird registration that's good to go. Uh, it's in the back office. All you have to do is go on and register. Please do that. Uh, we are expecting a good crowd um, with things relaxing in Utah. In fact, it's April 10th. The mask mandate goes out of effect. And so we do believe October is going to be a big event. I ver believe very strongly that our friends from Canada and Mexico going to be able to travel to Utah. I'm keeping my fingers crossed and uh, we're going to have a big crowd. So get your tickets early so you can make sure your space is saved. Also, we have both a single ticket as well as a buy nine, get one free for leaders who'd like to buy that 10 pack. Wanted to make it to be a good deal for you. And those are the item code numbers on screen. You can look those up or call any of us, including customer service, if you need that information. Also, Elite is on loyalty shopping this month and Again, if you have not tried Elite, uh, it's become our, one of our family's favorites. In the afternoon, I like uh, putting Elite in, in a water bottle and, and just drink it during the afternoon. Uh, it's very refreshing, gives me a little pick-me-up in the afternoon. It doesn't have a lot of caffeine or any caffeine, so it isn't that kind of pick-me-up. It's more of a just a little pick-me-up. So <clears throat> if you haven't tried it, also hormone rebalancing. Just that's all I got to say about that. And the power up, come in at 200 level and you get automatically powered up to 500 level or business level. Come in at business, you're powered up to elite. We're doing that for you. If you're currently in new age, let's just say you're a business level today. You get up to elite and we'll power you up to ultimate. So it's not just for new people. It's for you if you want to power up. If you're already ultimate, then Call your downline. Tell them all about this. It's a great opportunity to power up, especially this month. And the four by four promotion. And just so I don't confuse anybody, you've got two different dates on here. One is on the Noni side because they're on a monthly plan. And the other is on the RX side. You'll notice the dates till April 16th for RX and April 30th for Noni. And you've got the way you earn your way into the four by four club is bringing four new reps. Four. <laughs> four new reps. Those reps have to come in with a minimum 
of 240 points if you're Noni, 250 points if you're Rx. If you, if you need to know the difference why, then call me and we can walk through it. And four new customers. Now the customers do not have to have a minimum, but they have to be unique customers. If I'm a rep and I just place orders in four customers accounts and use my credit card, does not count. Just qualifying this. Has to be four new unique customers. They place the order, they pay for the order, it's shipped to them. Just as a, as a qualifier, just in case there's questions, but the, and there's no minimum. So it could be a toothpaste. It could be a, you know, uh, what, what's the least expensive item with Noni? I don't know what it is. It's not the TNJ. Anyway, just a single, it just has to be one order. So don't worry about the minimums and stuff with the customers. Okay, hopefully that's easy. And by doing it, if you're one of the first 100, then you get 500 stock options and the strike price is less than the strike, the price is trading today. It's a great deal. 500 shares at just easy math at three bucks is $1,500 worth of stock at today, about today's rate. So what a great opportunity if you needed more incentive to get the four by four club. And there are some Stabats left. I'm just saying, if you're not there, you need to get there because those spots are going fast. Okay, so let me get back to my screen, my slideshow. And also you get this lovely t-shirt that have started to be shipped out as of last week. So on these calls, if you have your shirt, be sure to wear your shirt to the Zooms. We wanna show off your four by four shirts. Cool. Now, this is when my partner in crime, Mr. Dan Cauley, helps me with these uh, great title advancements. And we get to recognize some of the Noni folk as well, Dan. Awesome, so excited. I know. So excited. So let's go for it. First up, the new team lead, and you earn this with 100. Oops. Sorry, in lifetime earnings. So I need to move my um, this over. There we go, okay. So let's hear it for Sandra Torres from Florida. So we have Rovilla Perkins from Kansas. Joseph Catlett from North Carolina. Christy Grimes, Colorado. Sandra Albin from New Jersey. Deanna May from Pennsylvania. Marisol Castro from California. Uh, Delilah Chavez Flores from Texas. Ann Patty from Texas. Wayne Walpop from Alabama. Ricky Tozell from Louisiana. Gretchen Burgess, South Dakota. Leon Singletary from Alabama. Kirsten Tay from Nebraska. Diane Rencher from Michigan. Christopher Simon, also from Michigan. And Angel Aguirre from Texas. All right, and then from up north, we have Nancy Curion from Quebec. And Linda Belanguer from Quebec. Benita Miller, British Columbia. Danielle Dufour from Quebec. Danny Tremblay from Quebec. Melanie Gilbert from Quebec. And Melanie Jobin from Quebec. Or Jobin. From Quebec, Quebec congratulations, oh, congratulations to our new team leads. Congratulations, well new that's team awesome. Leads. New senior team lead, and you earn this with a lifetime earnings of 200 US dollars. Let's hear it for Angelica Sanchez from California. Deline J. Ruby from Wyoming. Marina Bruco from Illinois. <clears throat> Lillian Warden from Illinois. Kim Aaron from Alabama. Donna Hogan, Michigan. Steve Faulkner from Texas. Uh, we have C Celia Lopez from Florida. Crystal Goff from Tennessee. And we have, get this, Jorge Luis Landaverde Andrade from Maryland. Well done, Dan. You like that one? I do. Romar Benjamin Gil Aguiar from Texas. Good job. Andrew Jackson Sr., Mississippi. That is a famous man. Brian <laughs> Brandt from Colorado. Noemi E. Wilson from California. Francis Rancourt from New Hampshire. Cindy James, Florida. Karian Heffer from Ohio. Awesome. And then from Canada, we have Tracy Albrecht from Alberta. And Elaine Franzen from Nova Scotia. And then Trey Lynn Ingram from British Columbia. Sonia Truchon from Quebec. We have Pamela Maltais from Quebec. 
Chantal Briand from Quebec. Tammy Anderson, Alberta. Maurice Fabien from Quebec. Johan Constantino from Quebec. And Tina Jennifer Potvin, Carrier Potvin from Quebec. I'm not sure about that, but go, congratulations. She leads the league in, in names in our All recognition. Of the That's awesome. <clears throat> okay. Now let's hear it for new supervisors. And you earn this with lifetime earnings of 400 USD. Let's hear it for Summer Schaefer from Montana. And we have Brittany Dale, Wyoming. Shelly Henderson from Florida. Shauna Hall, Alabama. Tamara Preston from Wyoming. Wiley Bridgman from Ohio. Cecil R. Denton from Alabama. James McDonald, Arkansas. Virginia Obando from California. Ketsia Yogan from Pennsylvania. Tell us a little bit about Coral Elite and we'll recognize them. So Coral Elite is a position on the Noni side that is, they, they get their three people enrolled. So we used to teach three by three uh, with Noni. Now we're teaching everybody four by four, obviously. But uh, when they get their three personally sponsored IPCs, they become, an, uh, they become a Coral Elite IPC, meaning brand partner. Great. So with that, we have Dex Budget Bahasibe. I'm going to say that with a Spanish accent for Hawaii, from Hawaii. Awesome. Well done, Dex. Carol Anderson from Virginia, New Coral Elites. Congratulations. Great job, you guys. And then up in Canada, back to the supervisors, we have Danya Bresden Amaral from Ontario. Carol Germain from Alberta. Julie Chattigny from Quebec. And Kelly Landry from Manitoba. Congratulations. All right, great job, everybody. <laughs> Coral Elites and supervisors. I love it. Beautiful. Well done. New senior supervisors, and you're in this with lifetime earnings of 600 USD. Jonathan DeRitter from Michigan. We have Belinda Richardson from Texas. <clears throat> Twyla Alberg from Iowa. Linda Bitting from Texas. Michelle Maples from Louisiana. Irene Mayer from California. Whitney Leichner from Arkansas. David Thompson, North Carolina. Brandy Bethay from Texas. Paul Holtz Doby from Colorado. Tammy Peterson from Washington. Sheila Moffitt, Louisiana. Christy Hart from Wyoming. And then from Canada, we have Diana Visser from Alberta. And Rene Claude Guisson from Quebec. <clears throat> hey, well done, senior supervisors. <clears throat> Good job, new senior supervisors. Well done. Now let's hear it for new managers. And you received this with lifetime earnings of. 800 US dollars. Jeannie Hartman from Kansas. Joanne Schimek from Texas. Nancy Kothimer, or Kothimer from Kentucky. Layla McIntyre, Texas. And our friends up north, Andre Forget from Quebec. Johan Boussiere from Quebec. And Natalie Dubé from Quebec. <laughs> Managers, well done. Managers. I love recognition. I know, like my fun. Thing. New senior managers, and you earn this with lifetime earnings of 900 USD. Tell me Calderon from Kansas. And Carla Brake from Kansas, representing Kansas. Wait, well done, you guys. Kansas is not a massive state either. That's awesome. That's great. And no offense to Kansas, there's just not as heavily populated. We get it. And, and our friends up north, Beatriz Salgado from Quebec. <laughs> New um, senior Quebec. managers, congratulations. Now I've got people from Kansas hating me. I'm to get hate mail. I love Kansas. Um, <clears throat> I love Kansas. So new directors with lifetime earnings of 1,000 USD. Lisa Kennegy from Wyoming, way to go. Congratulations. And then Jade Elite. Uh, Jade Elite would be somebody with 12,000 monthly points. So that would be on a monthly basis, 12,000 points and three personally sponsored brand partners. So we have Mui Ta from California. Way to go, Mui. Congratulations. That's awesome. Okay, continuing on our recognition, we have a new senior director or senior directors with lifetime earnings of 1,000 USD plus. Now we're getting into pay line volume, 2,500 in pay line volume. George Codreno from Georgia, and I know George, you're on. Congratulations, my friend, and you're just such a loyal call listener and 
Zoom participators. So way to go, George. George. From Georgia. George from Georgia. I George love it. George from Georgia. You got to love that. Yep. Georgia. Well done. Georgia. <laughs> you had to say that. You had to do that. New yep. vice presidents who earn this with lifetime earnings of 1,000 USD and have 3,000 on pay line volume from Quebec. Martina Bernachet from Quebec. Well done, new vice president. Congratulations, Martine. Well done. And it actually might be Bernish, but I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. And I apologize if that's the case. So Dan, thank you as always for being a part of tonight's call. Thank you. Not Good to be with everybody. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah, partner in crime on the Zoom, but you're a uh, bunkmate in the office in our cubicles. Is that about right? My cute buddy, Rick. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks for letting me be on, Rick. And uh, we'll, can't wait to hear the rest of the call. Awesome. We got some great transformations and a special guest at the end. All right. So our transformation tonight is somebody that I absolutely adore. Got a chance to meet her. I think it was one of my first events uh, from Alberta. We had a chance to go out to her neck of the woods in Strathmore, Alberta. And she had had a transformation story at that time. And I'll let her tell her story, but this recent transformation contest, her before and after was kind of what I could, would call ridiculous. Check it, check this out. So before I come back, look at the before and after here. It is just a different person altogether. And I just was so proud of her and wanted to feature her. In fact, last week, remember I said, Terry, we got to get you on a call. And so we did. So please welcome senior officer from Strathmore, Alberta, my friend and yours, Terry Jamehoff. Terry, are you there? I am, Rick. Can you hear me? I can, and I can see you, and you're now on camera. Awesome. Thank you. So, yeah, that picture is pretty... Um, when your assistant texted me and I texted her the picture, all she did was she came back and she said, wow. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it's been a bit of a journey. So, a little bit of my story with my weight um, transformation is... I've been slim my whole life. I've just been blessed, I guess, with a good metabolism. And I've never struggled with weight ever until I turned about 47 years old, that pre-menopause stage. And I started gaining weight just around my stomach. And so I had done the drops a couple of years ago, and but I wasn't all in. I did them, I, kept, I would forget to do them, I would, um, what I call cheat, I guess, and eat things that weren't on the approved list. And I did lose my weight, I probably lost about 18 pounds at that time. And I kept it off for two years and then 2020 hit. And it was a really challenging year for me personally. And um, so I just, I mean, especially during quarantine, not only was I having personal challenges, but being quarantined didn't help. So what do you do? You eat, right? Well, that's what I did anyways. And before I knew it, I had just um, gained all this weight. And unfortunately, again, it doesn't distribute evenly with me. It all accumulates in my stomach. And I just was so, um, just so disgusted with how I looked. I could not stand looking in the mirror. I I felt on my clothes. I felt puffy. I felt swollen. I felt unmotivated because I was carrying that weight. And so when they announced the transformation throwdown challenge and Brent Willis said, we're going to give some shares away, shares motivate me. And I decided at that point I was going to go all in. And so I did, I went all in, I stuck to the program, nothing that was not on the recommended food guide went in my mouth, I wasn't even tempted. I measured my water, I filled up a gallon jug every single day and made sure I drank it, I ate my healthy fats and I just stuck to the program. And I did stall out, I was a little obsessed with the scale at the beginning and um, I had a stall around 18 pounds and got a bit discouraged. So I ordered a bottle of Restorex and I did it morning and night for the first week. And then I continued doing it nighttime and the weight started coming off again. But I am thrilled with my results. I feel amazing. And another reason I was really committed to doing it is because I know 
that pictures can be powerful and worth thousands of dollars if you want them to be. Yeah. And I am sharing this picture, although I feel vulnerable because I'm it, it's an awful before picture. I don't care. So I'm sharing it with everybody and anybody. And I'm just super thrilled with the results. And most of all, I feel amazing and I feel motivated again. Mm -hmm. And so that's a bit of my story, Rick. Not only you, are you motivated uh, physically, but you also are part of a special club. What club are you part of, Terry? Four by four. Four by four. You did it. And you know, four what? by four. So it wasn't just about weight loss, it was a, a, a business and a personal transformation. Way to go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And, and you know, I'm just sharing my story and I'm not attached to the outcome. I do not care who says yes, who says no, who, who doesn't return my calls, who ghosts me. Mm. It doesn't matter to me. I am feeling a little bit bulletproof right now. And I am just going out there and sharing it with everybody. And Rick, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to declare it on this Zoom. I'm not just doing it once. I'm already on my second round of four by four, and I'm going to do it three times. That's my goal by the end of the challenge. So throw it down, Terry, throw it down. Yep, throw down. <laughs> if you're in the if you're in the chat group, which I know a lot of people are, and you want to accept that challenge, and you want to match that, I want to I want to see some of you on there saying, "I'm with you, Terry. I'm going to hit it with you." Three four by fours. That's incredible. Look at you, Ant. Perfect. Way to go, guys. Terry, awesome. thank you for being on tonight. And and I meant what I said. I just. Uh, First time I met you, I'm like, that's a that's a, an amazing person. And I've just seen you transform in so many different ways. It's so great to see. I can't wait to get back to Canada and give you a proper hug. Yeah, you said if I could fill a room with 200 people, that you'd come back. So once we can travel, you're here. I'll be there. You can count on it. <laughs> thanks, Rick. You got it, Terry. Thank you. And thanks for being with us tonight. What a great story. I'm going to put that before and after one more time. Someone asked me to put it up there one more time to take a picture. Just fantastic, really wow. just fantastic, way to go. All right, our next transformation story is not a typical transformation story. I met Riley Niblett in Destin, Florida. I'd heard about him before this. Um, for, if, you, if you think he looks young, you're absolutely right. And I wanted to get Riley on a call to share his kind of passion. So I've got two young guys, two young guns well, three, if you want to count Mark. <laughs> Mark, just kidding. Um, so we've got Riley Niblett and then Anthony Moreland, who is going to come on right out. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> hey, I'm young. What do you mean, man? Younger than you, Rick. That's all that matters, buddy. That's right. That's right. So I, I'm excited to hear from Riley and, and Ant tonight. But let's first hear from Riley Niblett. And he's got a great story. So Riley, are you there? Yes, sir. Great to be here. It's good to see you again. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I'm going to get you on spotlight so everybody gets to see your, your handsome face. Listen, um, so a lot of people have a hard time um, sharing this uh, opportunity, this message with uh, someone that's younger. And, and so I thought getting you and Anthony sure. on here to talk a little bit about what's resonated with you and what's, what got you excited? What's getting you excited about the future and this, and this business called New Age? Yes, sir. Well, guys, look, I'll be honest with you. You can say young people, but really you can say anybody. I haven't met one person that isn't open to making more money. And here's my deal. I'm a, I'm a football coach. So I actually, you know, most of you know me as Riley from Hoover, Alabama. Well, today was my first day. Uh, up in Charlotte, North Carolina, I've joined the University of North Carolina at Charlotte's football staff that plays in Conference USA. Um, and so for me, I'm passionate about getting people from where they are to where they want to go. And I think that's anything in life. I mean, that's from a spiritual standpoint, that's from a health standpoint, that's from a financial standpoint. And there's two things that everybody's looking for right now. Everybody's looking for a way to be healthier. You just heard an unbelievable story from Miss Terry. That was awesome. And also people are looking for a way to create extra income because 2020 exposed us to something that we're vulnerable with. And, 
you know, when I talk to people my age, I say, you know what, man, I mean, you can call it risky all you want to. My definition of risk is dependent on somebody else for my paycheck. Because 2020 showed me that that's not always a guarantee. And something that I was talking with Coach Palmer about, and I know we've had a lot of success doing it um, over in Europe, but something that I've had a lot of success with, with, specifically with people in my age group, is helping them to understand, hey, look, let's look at it from this perspective. $25 gives you an ID number, it gives you an online office, and then let's redirect some dollars over an eight-week period right now with the promotion that the company's running of around $400 worth of products and, and types of products that you're already probably going to buy because I haven't met one person that doesn't look for more energy right now. And especially there's probably uh, more often than not a lot of people in my age group that stay up too late playing video games games and then they're trying to go to their college classes the next day but look people are looking for it regardless um and you do that man i mean over a five to ten year window i mean you could be looking at millions of dollars in residual income and if not millions walk away income to where you can decide if you want to work or not like for me like i love coaching i'm never going to stop coaching but one day i'm going to walk out onto a practice field and i'm truly going to be out there Hey, that's my goal with it. Um, and, and something that I've kind of gained over the past couple months in terms of just a motto that I've used for myself is a one day focus, but if today to move me one, then also understanding that, hey, let's divorce the result. The result will take care of itself. And let's have a five-year view of what's to come. It's just like in football. I mean, I can't guarantee that, you know, we open up with a power five team at home this year. I mean, who knows what the scoreboard is going to be, but I guarantee you this, what can I control? I can control the preparation. I can control what I do in my role. And then ultimately, my whole goal every single day is, hey, just be the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. and Hey, Riley, <clears throat> you were broke, breaking up there toward the end, but we definitely heard and, and felt your energy tonight. And thank you so much for, for being on the call. Love your energy. You and I had a chance to talk on the phone and, and this young man is going places. Uh, you can just sense it, you can feel it. And uh, I, I see, uh, uh, you know, the college coaching success as well as uh, great success in this business. And I love that idea. One day walking out on a practice field, knowing you're there for what you love to do and not what you have to be there to do or what you get paid for. So uh, I know that that wasn't exactly. Did I cut right. out? You did, but you know what? We heard most of it. If you want to, you want to share maybe one last closing remark, and then I'll turn it to Anthony. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, for me. Excitement about the future is just the fact that, hey, guess who gets to decide my income stream? Me. But you know what? It's not just making money. Like, we get to go bless other people with something that we have our hands on that they're already looking for. They just don't know it yet. That's right. I mean, I tell people this, and I was talking to a guy on the phone today. Um, Miss Jeannie called me, and she said, or I was talking to a guy that she was sitting with, and I said, hey, look, man, you know, three out of ten people – that I show this opportunity to, they're joining and they're fired up. I really don't care if you're one of the other seven because we're going to do it either way, but I've got to get your eyes on this. If I bat three for 10 in the MLB, that puts me in the Hall of Fame. So I'm good with that. But um, <laughs> Mr. Rick, thank you for having me on. And so I'm super excited about the future and, and we're only just getting started. Amen, Riley. And we look forward to many great things from you. So thanks again for being on the call tonight. And now we're going to turn it to right. our other young gun for the night, Mr. Anthony Moore and Ant. You there? Yes, I am, Rick. Can you hear me? I sure can. You look great. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Um, well, yeah, the, you know, kind of piggyback what Al Riley said, you know, uh, the world is looking, you know, and they've really been looking for a long time. But like he said, 2020 really opened up eyes. 
so many people I watched that were my friends had professions that they would be in for a while. Watch, watch them get pay cuts, watch them, you know, pretty much get hours cut, you know, having to start work from home. And now jobs are sending people home. They were sending people home. And so guess what? When they send people home, they realize like, hey, well, we don't need as many more people. So we're just going to let you go. And so that opened up a lot of eyes of mine over the last over the last 365 days, pretty much, it opened up eyes to a lot of my friends. A lot of more younger people are looking now. They're like, well, we do need that plan B. We do need that extra income. And what would extra income, you know, do for me and my family and everything of that nature? And so it's so exciting just to be, you know, at this age. I, I actually remember I was Riley's age when I started this industry. I, I was. I was 20. Well, I was a little bit younger. I was 21. I was 21 years old. And what did a 21 year old kid want to do? I just want, I really, I wanted to make some money. I, I, I love the product standpoint, you guys. I, I always wanted my family to be healthy and I wanted the best for them. They were getting up in age. And so I love that aspect. And I remember telling my good friend, I said, if half of what you were telling me is true about that, that would be a blessing. But also if half of the financial part you were telling me is true, because what, what do most kids do? What do most of us young adults was doing? We're working one to two jobs, if not working as many hours as Riley's working. 50, 60 hours a week. Why? Because we're trying to, we're trying to get up there, trying to be like our parents or trying to, you know, surpass a lot of them. And so that's what I loved about this opportunity. It allowed me to work as many hours as I want, write the paycheck size that I wanted, regardless if I wanted to work 20 hours in one week or 40 hours in one week. It was all up to me. And then social media. <laughs> Our company is doing amazing things to allow us to truly make money from our cell phones and online. And that's a big deal. Um, I remember when I first kind of got started, nobody really was using social media. Well, we're, we're actually ahead of that. You know, we actually can spend, me and Riley spend an hour a day working on our social media and it's actually paying off. Um, and it's, it's so amazing because we're attracting people to us by just being ourselves. And so anybody can do that, whether you're young or you're older, you can actually start attracting people to you. And I encourage you with some of the new things I kind of heard about. I think everybody needs to be spending at least 30 minutes a day learning something on social media because of what's coming. I'm not an expert, but guess what? Me and Riley every Saturday are doing a social media training starting this Saturday. So you're more than welcome to come join us, interact with us. We can learn together. Mark I, and Rick, I know that we love the whole new age family, regardless of what part of the country, what part of the world they are, but no, North America is coming for number one. And, and the only way we can do it is we got to get better on social media. So Mark, you can tell some of the Europe leaders that <laughs> we're coming. <laughs> Anthony, awesome job. And um, a lot of you don't know this, and I, but I, I try to let you know every week, Anthony <clears throat> doesn't have to do this, but comes on the call already acts as a co-host, helps me welcome people in the waiting room, just does it to be a great teammate. And I appreciate you more than you know, Anthony. Thank you, my friend. Always. Yeah, you got it. And talk about inspiration tonight. So again, we got another young gun that's going to come on and close this call out. None other than our president, Mr. Mark Wilson. Mark. Rick just knows that I get to approve his raises. So that's why he's uh, calling me young. But thank you, Rick. I appreciate that, man. Uh, you know what, if you've ever hung with Rick playing basketball or doing anything, any activity, Rick is always all in. So he is one of those individuals who does not act his age. So I love it when he's talking youthful to me. So, hey, I, I got to tell you, I apologize for being a little late. I'm actually driving back down to our, our Nevada home and had a great meeting here today uh, up north at the uh, office at American Fork and and so many incredible things going on there that uh it just gets me really, really excited. And to hear Terry and Riley and Anthony speak, I, I, I'm telling you, I get all excited again and recommitted and ready to go. And uh, I was talking to some groups uh, Saturday. I had like three or four groups in a row. We had uh, early morning with, with a bunch of maybe some of you. We had Then I had a group from um, Brazil. We had a group from South Africa. Then it was a group from Europe, and, and I was excited because going around the world, the common theme is something you heard tonight. So if you didn't get this, take this nugget away. You noticed all of them are becoming more invincible. 
And what I mean by that, when you become tenacious, when you become consistent at, at what you're doing, you become unstoppable. You, you create this, this strength about you and this power. It is a power within you. And you don't even realize you have it, but it takes some time to mold that and shape that. When you become this invincible person, it's because you start to realize that you know what? I'm not worried whether every person, I love what he said with even three, shoot, I'd take one out of 10 because you know what? 10% is enough. It's enough to build an incredible business. And as you're looking for those incredible people, that's what it's all about. I love the constant learning. In fact, that's one of the things I've challenged myself. Uh, just picked up a new book, Primal Leadership, you know, and uh, I'm going to check that out. I love the title, Unleashing the Power of Emotional Intelligence. Uh, someone had referred it to me. But no matter what age, no matter what success, I'm realizing that if I can pull a couple of nuggets out of, out of something I'm learning, something I'm learning from other individuals, it makes me a better human being. It makes me a better boss. It makes me a better father, a better, a better coach, uh, a better spouse. You know, that's what this is all about, is taking these little steps. And my theme lately is just to make some little adjustments constantly, just constant little adjustments. If you'll make those little adjustments, then it doesn't feel so overwhelming. You know, and you hear me talk about being crazy and then one day waking up and being lucky. Well, the only difference between Rick and I and others is we just have more time at this, right? We have more time and effort at it than the Rileys. And Riley, I look forward to the one day when you can come out to a, a real team like University of Utah and coach there or you know, the, the chargers, maybe that would even be better. So <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, I would watch you no matter what. Cause I'd say, I know that guy. I, I love it. And, uh, but I guess the fun of that is I can see that vision. And when you're doing things you love to do, if you'll find that you love this, that you love what you're doing. Uh, we were, we were talking to an individual about coming onto our team. We'll see how it goes. If, we make an announcement in the next few weeks, but just on the management team that's continuing, we're putting together and assembling the very finest. When you look at Rick and Dan and all these individuals, many of you know Deanna and Brent and, and all the team we're putting together around the world, we're continuing to assemble because one of our goals and, and one of my goals specifically is to make sure we put the right people together to support you in this. And uh, I can't say who or what, because we don't know what's going to happen here. But when I was speaking to this individual today, something that got me so excited uh, was when I asked this individual, you know, what they, you know, tell me about your, your job, your passion. And they said, I love what I do. I love working with the field. I love helping them be successful and seeing the way. And well, I'll tell you, when that that got me going more than anything else this individual said, because I realized not only are they incredibly talented, but the reason they've honed their craft to be actually one of the best in the industry at what they do is because they're passionate about what they do. And when you, when you speak to any of our amazing leaders that you're talking to, you know, I heard, uh, you know, Riley talking about Brent. I've heard, you know, many talk about Deb and Ken or all these leaders around the world. And, 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 and it's no different anywhere I go around the world from Tim Sales on down, they love what they're doing. They're passionate about what they're doing. If you can grow that over time in your craft and hone that, you will be unstoppable as well because the company's putting it together. You can see what's going on. You know, fourth quarter, it was a nice quarter. You know, Brent and I were talking a little bit about it and he's like, whoa, this is incredible. And we had a CEO, he's fired up. He's excited because it's the first time in new age history that they had a positive EBITDA. And I looked at him and I said, Brent, it was good. It was solid. You know, it was something that we can be, we can say, this is the right step. Now, the reason I'm not jumping up and down yet is because I know we can do better. We will do better. I, I'm promising you that we are not only will do better, we're doing better. First quarter will be an improvement. I promise you over, over fourth quarter, second quarter, our goal and commitment is to improve even more and third quarter and so on. That is our goal. If we're going to get to two and a half billion in the next few years and then beyond that, why would we stop there, right? But if we're going to get to that level, we're going to have to think differently. We're going to have to act differently. So we're going to continue to grow. Now, 
we have to hit our goals along the way, right? You have to get to that five, 600 million, then you have to get to seven and eight, nine and a billion. And for a lot of companies, they hit a billion and something goes crazy. I don't know whether they think they're there or they've arrived or whatever, but there's almost this curse of the billion, you know, that they forget. And so we're not talking about the billion. Yes, that'll be a celebration point. But where we really want to go is to that two and a half and three billion so that we've, we've established ourselves and then continue to that. Fred Cooper said something the other day, Dr. Cooper said, you know, why can't we be the last MLM standing? Why can't we be the last in our industry? Because as we're doing this, we're, we're helping people collaborate and come together in a way no one's ever done in our industry before. And so it allows us the freedom to work with all of you. And, and we're excited about this. Now, we can't do it without you. We can't do it without each and every one of you being that passionate, being that excited. And it really takes you doing everything you can on a daily basis to just kind of continue to make those changes. And that is where the company's headed. Uh, our job is to make sure that we deliver what we say we're going to deliver on. We have some exciting news and social selling tools that we introduced. Uh, as we get closer to the summertime, you're going to see new introductions of new tools, new websites, all kinds of crazy new things as we're bringing the companies together. That is a Herculean thing. Most people said, you guys can't do it. First of all, they didn't think we could get even the merger done. Well, now they've seen that and they're shocked that, wow, they're actually doing this. The next big step this summer for us is to actually converge everything together in a very fluid way. And we're working on that and doing that. We need your help. We need your help to continue to be our partners in the field as our brand ambassadors. As you go out there and help us with this, that's the excitement. That's the energy. That's the piece that, that, that we just heard as far as sharing with people in so many different ways and get creative and get fun with it. You know, that's what I love about it as we're, as we're working on this. And our commitment is we're going to make sure not only are we doing our part, but we're going to continue to assemble the very finest team you've ever seen in our industry to support you. And that's one of the things we're doing, but we're also going to do it and we're going to be profitable. So, you know, when we get into these things, sometimes people, well, we've always done it this way. Well, guess what? If we've always done it this way and it's not profitable and it's dragging the company down, we're going to change it. I, I'm going to tell you, as your president, we're going to change it. And it's going to be painful for all of us because we all have our favorite little things we love to do. But guess what? If you have a company that you can count on for generations to come and be a legacy business, it can't be a non-profitable business. It can't be one that's losing money. That doesn't work, okay? Unless you're a high-tech company. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how Facebook goes years and years without making money. But in our business, we need to be profitable. We need to be solid. We need to be 110% committed to the business, not only growing, but to be stable and to be, be profitable for you so that you have something to depend on. And that is our commitment. And we're, we're on it. I'm telling you, we're on it. We've been meeting. The culture of everybody coming together is phenomenal as we're working together. And you know what? You're blowing it up in North America. I'm telling you, 30% growth uh, just this last week. What that means is when we look back at a trend over the last four to eight, I think it's eight weeks, uh, it might even be a 12 week trend, Rick. I can't remember, but I, I know it's a trend we look at. We have a report we get, you're up 30%, okay? 30%. You keep doing that, oh my gosh, it's crazy where it's going. In fact, Rick sent me a little bingo bingo because we've had a little fun kind of contest on this. Uh, North America with the companies combined now is doing over a million dollars a week in, in the United States and Canada combined, okay? And growing and going forward. And you may say, well, wow, okay, that's nice. No, no, you have no idea. A year ago, it was almost half that. OK, even if you combine both companies, it might have been 600 or maybe 700,000. That's the kind of growth we've been experiencing in the last seven, eight months as it's just continuing to grow. And guess what? We see that trend continuing. Now, this we're doing this without huge, big specials. Yes, you have an incentive, the four by four. But that's really just the basics of the company of what's going on right now. So th what that means for me is here. Here's the cool thing. That means more commissions going out. That means 
you know, when you combine both companies, that's nearly a half a million dollars a week going out in commissions to everybody. Think about that as we're moving forward. That's that's kind of a cool deal, right? So we're, we're just, uh, we're having fun. And Rick, I'm so excited to be with you all. I would say, uh, Here's the cool thing. And I love what Terry said. She's going to, she's going to do her four by four over and over. I would do that over and over with your individuals as well and be all in on these contests in these incentives. Who cares what the prize is? It really doesn't matter. What matters is you're participating and you're not spectating and that you're making sure that you're involved in the solution and the process. If you're leading by example with that, you're going to have incredible success here. There is a direct correlation to you leading by example. You can't sit back and say, I'm in management mode managing people. I don't care what level you're at. I don't care what level you're at. I promise you, you cannot sit back and be in management mode and expect growth out of your business. It does not work. It'd be no different than me saying, well, I built this company to a great level. Rick, have fun with it. I'm never going to be around again and just pay me forever, right? Well, okay, it's a wonderful residual dream. But at the same time, if you want growth, you need to make sure you either have the mechanism or the succession planning. Now, the day's coming. Rick and I are going to go sip, sip, sip uh, virgin pina coladas on the beach and, and tell stories while we have the young bucks that take over. And, and these men and women will do everything that we've ever dreamed about and then some. But the but right now, today, you need to be in that growth mode. You need to be in that growth mode with your business right now. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, there is a position right now in this industry that has never been before. It, it really hasn't. Everything is positioned perfectly right now. Uh, so, so we're going to capitalize on it. We're going to make sure we take care of it. And I just want you to all have a piece of it. So thank you so much for having me on, Rick. Absolutely, Mark. Thank you. And <clears throat> thank you for your leadership and um, for the fun in competition. You know, it's one thing to have a, a kind of a casual office where people are having a good time, but to, to have that culture and the accountability at the same time is a, is a dream job in a sense. If you got to have a job and all of you teach you how to fire your boss, well, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. I got way, way too much energy for a number of more years to, to accomplish a lot more than we're accomplishing now. So Terry, thank you for getting us started tonight. What an amazing transformation story. Riley, Anthony, for your inspiration, both of you. Uh, just look for big things from you. Mark, as always, thank you for being with us and, and sharing your energy and enthusiasm. Tonight, I've got a quote. I love this quote. And, uh, you know, quotes sometimes have like a success, successful man. I'm going to say a successful man parentheses person, is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks others have thrown at him. I love that saying. I'm going to say it one more time. A successful man, person, is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks others have thrown at him. Guys, have a great, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. I'm going to unmute the lines and stop the recording.